Hi everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. Starting off with an Aldi haul because everyone over on Instagram seems to love those, so hopefully you do too, and then we'll see where the rest of this video takes us. So let's start with the apples for juicing. <laughs> um, we find that the best ones for juicing are golden delicious and tend to go through at least three packs of those a week for juices and then I buy um, some Royal Gala for the kids or me for eating. Um, and then I got two packs of cherries. Um, kids love cherries and these were reduced. They were like 129 I think in Aldi. Um, and then I got a little pack of raspberries probably for some yogurt granola type concoction. Um, and uh, strawberries as well. I didn't get blueberries today because we still have some. Got lye cheese. These always come around this time of the year, always close to Chinese New Year. Um, Chinese New Year starts on the 10th of February this year, I think. Um, so yeah, kids love those. Got some pears just for the kids' nibbles. And then I got some veg. So we've got cucumbers. Two cucumbers will not last us the week, but they'll start us off. Um, they go in juices as well, but obviously with dinners and with snacks in the kids' snack boxes mostly. Celery for juices, but also for salads and things and soups. Carrots um, to go in dinners, to go in juices as well, and for um, just snacks. Uh, peppers for everything. Kale is my favourite for a brunch. And then we have got some broccoli, probably for a dinner one night, but also husband likes to put the stem of that in juices. And I love it roasted in salads. Um, coriander is my favorite herb, so always buy that just to garnish things, to make salads taste nicer. Basil for a bolognese this week. Um, love sugar snap peas. I noticed that this pack had burst as I was putting it in the trolley, but never mind. Um, they'll get eaten in no time. Two packs of those. Um, I found it really difficult to find those around about Christmas time for some reason, but they are back. Um, ginger for juices, but also for like in meals and things. And green beans just to go with a dinner or a salad or something. Radishes. Radishes were 30% off today for some reason. Oh, 30th of January. Out of date tomorrow, but who cares about dates? And then um, avocados, ripe and ready ones. Always get those just for lunches or smoothies or just to go with eggs um what else bananas up here um nothing exciting just for eating um and some little oranges what are these these are just called easy peelers they look nice big juicy ones then i got some nectarines and plums just for the kids when they are peckish big oranges for um juicing with pineapple and lemons and then I got a honeydew melon this week to go in the kids snack boxes or for breakfast and mangoes um, I love a mango in the morning and then on to fresh stuff it's I really need to get this in the fridge because it's so sunny today so I got some seafood snacks <laughs> seafood sticks for um, Erica and Leo love those just for after school snacks Phoebe is not so keen um, but sometimes she'll have one, so I just keep trying with her. Um, salmon for to go with eggs for post workout protein. Um, some little mini scotch eggs for the kids' snack boxes, and they love these chicken satay skewers. These are so tasty. Um, I think the <laughs> the other kids in their class fight over them. They like to give them one to try. Um, just some spread for sandwiches and toast. Baby bells for the kids' snack boxes. And then I got two types of chicken, um, diced chicken breast, and then these chicken drum fillets, which are so cheap. I think they're about the same price as those, but this is 600 grams. So make a couple of dinners out of those. I'm thinking something Chinesey, maybe, um, what is it called? Sweet chili chicken? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> but it's like coated in flour, fried, and then in a, in a yummy sauce. So might make that one night. Um, bacon just to have in case we need a bacon roll. 
but it's also a good backup for a dinner one night. So like this, the spaghetti um, and some parmesan, garlic, mushrooms, carbonara, done. Um, meatballs, I'm going to make Nigella's meatballs. I don't know why I picked up a first of February and an eighth, that's so annoying. Should have got two eighths. Um, but yeah, Nigella's mellow meatballs are yummy. Um, and I got some turkey mince for my bolognese this week for a change. Because I thought, got the meatballs already, too much beef. But then I have gone poultry heavy this week. Anyway, um, eggs, 15 of those. I've already got two boxes of these in my fridge, but I can't run out of eggs. Then for tins, I got two tins of coconut milk because I ran out of that through the week and that was a disaster. Had to load all the kids in the car at half past five to go get some coconut milk, so they were not amused at that. So stocking up on that. Baked beans, I just get the Aldi's own make of those. Nobody seems to complain. Big jar of gherkins because I cleaned out my fridge recently and there was like three half-eaten jars. They've all gone, so a new jar um, for salads and nibbles. And then I get the peeled plum tomatoes instead of chopped tomatoes, just because I think they are, I don't know, more flavoursome. And then chickpeas in case I want to make hummus or just to throw in salads and things. Some beef stock pots. I just got the Aldi own make ones this week because they were cheap. And some cashew nuts. I thought I might put these in some salads this week. Um, some Just some white rice. I've got brown, but I was running out of white. And then for baking, just some plain flour because I've run out of caster sugar. That is getting low. And some chocolate chips because I used up a couple of bags the other day from making my cookie bars. So I have to restock in those. A couple of boxes of cereal. I hate cereal with a passion. But, you know, just trying to get something quick in the kids in the morning. So I got these multigrain shapes and ugh, apricot filled tweets. So I know they're full of rubbish, but sometimes needs just must. They did, however, make themselves, before I'd even got downstairs this morning, they made themselves um, avocado on toast and poached eggs. So, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, I bought some of these rubbish, again, rubbishy things, but they're so quick and easy to grab for an after school thing to keep them quiet in the car on the way home because it's like absolute mayhem if I forget to take a snack. So I just grab something like that, a little yogurt pouch or a little smoothie pouch. That'll keep them quiet for a couple of days. And then this is my favourite toilet roll, the coconut oil ones, um, nine for 2 99 in Aldi, which is about as cheap as I can find it. Um, it makes the toilet smell nice. <laughs> and then I just buy this like cheapy wholemeal bread for toast and sandwiches. And I got these little rolls for again after school snacks or if we're on the run somewhere and I can just make the kids up one of these and then I thought I'd get these to try I'm not sure if I've had these before but I was buying the um, Teddy Faces and they are so salty and um, you know the like fake pom bears from Aldi and um, so I thought I'd try these um, they still have lots of salt but we'll see if they taste less less salty um, so that is my haul this week, which I wasn't even intending on getting. I thought I was just going to nip into Aldi to get something for tonight, and I ended up with a full shop. But actually, I was pleasantly surprised because it was not as much as I expected. So please, place your bets below, um, and then I will tell you in a bit how much it was. And let me know if you guessed correctly. <music> Because I'm not eating yet today, so I'm just going to fry up some 
lovely peel from Aldi this morning um, in a little of the scallop paste, just like half a teaspoon or so, and then put some eggs. I get my eggs delivered by my milkman, um, but I also buy tons from Aldi. Um, so let's go. just adding some extra virgin olive oil here to fry the kale in but you can use whichever oil you prefer. I tend to just use a little teaspoon or two of that and then I'm adding in about a half teaspoon of this garlic paste. It's so good you can use it to fry up anything and it makes it taste amazing. Um, and then I'm just going to put in a few handfuls of kale, two or three handfuls. I like to sometimes use chorizo in this dish, but I don't have any. But if you put some chorizo in there, it flavours everything so nicely. You could add red peppers in there. Mushrooms tend to work really well. You can just add whatever you have lurking around your fridge. Um, I've just added my water into my little pan there to poach my eggs. I'm giving the kale one last stir around. That should be ready by now. just crack the eggs straight into the hot water that's just gently simmering. I don't bother with vinegar, I don't bother stirring the water, I just plonk them on in there and leave them for three minutes. I think I cooked them just under that here, but they were still fine. I like them runny. because I don't know what's the best background for this and also what a faff with trying to put my phone up. Oh, I don't know how YouTubers do it. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this nonsense with all the, <laughs> the camera holders, I mean, phone holders and lights and like, do I need a microphone? What is this? Why is it so different to Instagram filming? I think I'm just overthinking it and making a big deal out of it when it's nothing at all. Anyway. <laughs> January and I set myself a goal to have uploaded my first YouTube video by the end of January so here it is and I've been thinking about what I'm going to do in this video ever since it's been seriously keeping me up at night and this is what I come up with. It is so hard to move the lighting about and set your phone up properly that now I know why there's lots of videos of just people speaking because it's much easier to do than trying to film cooking and shopping hauls and what have you. So anyway, um, I'm sure I will learn as I go, bear with me. And I intend to do lots of cooking videos and food hauls and party plans and stuff like that. So if you like that sort of thing, I'll probably show you some um, organizational stuff and home stuff as well. But please follow along with me and share this scary journey. <laughs>